Well, hey y'all, I'm Mona, I'm 33 years old, and I appreciate you all stopping by to spend some time with me today. I'm interested in talking with you about this topic and getting your thoughts and sharing some of my thoughts with you as well. So the topic is cosmetic surgery, cosmetic intervention, fillers, surgery, Botox, any cosmetic procedure and enhancements to make ourselves look better? And have we set our boundaries? What is enough? We have all seen like the new trend with lips, right? It seems like no size is big enough. For some people, larger is better. And then extra large is even better. And to the point that the lip line has extended to this section right here, and you can't tell where the lip ends and this section begins because it's just all enlarged. When I was getting ready for my son's wedding, which occurred in February, there was a big part of me that was interested in enhancing my appearance. I'm not exactly sure why because most of the people that I was going to be seeing had been seeing me every day or frequently during the months preceding that and knew exactly what I looked like. However, for events like that, you know that there's gonna be a lot of photographers. And although you are gonna be seeing people that you see on a routine basis, you're also gonna be seeing people that you haven't seen in a while. And typically those are the kind of events that you wanna look your best for. So I know some of my relatives, some of the moms of the people that were going to be attending the wedding for my son had had children that had gotten married in the year or years leading up to my son's wedding and a lot of them had had procedures to look their best for the wedding and so i looked into an upper facelift especially in the year leading up to the wedding i've been off of youtube i had struggled with some extreme weight loss I was struggling to maintain a body weight that was healthy. I had gotten down to like 99 pounds at one point, and then I'd gotten up to like 104. Then I was maintaining around 109 for the wedding. I got up to about 112, but that kind of weight loss does not come without affecting the way that your face looks. and having extra skin. At my age, you already have laxity and sagging and loss of collagen. Add that to extremes in weight loss and you are gonna have more sagging and more laxity. I apologize for my voice, I have some laryngitis, but we're gonna get through that. Bear with me. I looked into a lower face lift and things to get rid of the jaws and the turkey neck that I was experiencing, as well as fillers and Botox. All of that came to about $40,000 and asked myself, what are my boundaries? I definitely don't want an unnatural look. You know, you have all seen the botch jobs on TV of celebrities that don't look like themselves that are surgery gone wrong. And then you see people like Dolly Parton that look years younger than what they are and look incredible. There are women in my family who are at least two decades older than me that have had work done and look fabulous. They put me to shame in the appearance section. But over this period of time that I've been gone, I have seen people lose their lives that were way too young. I have seen my husband battle cardiac issues. I have battled my own issues. I even broke a hip and had to recover from that. And I've just realized the fragility of life and my priorities right now are laser focused. I am in a mode of gratitude and really wondering when did aging become a bad thing? I look back at old films and women who were in their 50s on film back in the day. Look at the Golden Girls. 
Some of those women looked older. Maybe it was their hairstyles and maybe it was their clothing choices. And maybe if I just looked at their face, they would still look my age. I'm not sure. But I guess I'm in a mode of feeling like aging is a gift. And I should maybe embrace my aging and be grateful for it. Now, that's not to say that I'm not willing to still try lotions and potions and gadgets, but I think my limits are non-surgical. It's to wear my sunscreen, wear my SPF on a daily basis, use my Retin-A, try peptides for plumping and firming, enhance my features with a little makeup, although that even has decreased over my hiatus from YouTube. I still like it, but... I don't find myself wearing as much. If you look at my before and after pictures on my thumbnail, you can obviously see that there is a big difference. So what I ended up trying was this invisible face and neck lift tape. And this does give you a lift here and it can give you a lift here. And there's a V-shaped thin face sticker set also that just sticks and enhances and pulls. And you've probably seen it on YouTube. And I know women who use that all the time and they just pull it back and only their hairdresser knows. And for them, that is their boundary, but it does make them look and feel better. For Chase's wedding, I decided I was gonna forego that. Although I'm not opposed to that, I ended up not doing it for the reason that on my pictures for that day, I wanted them to reflect who I truly was. And I wanted to say, this is me. This is who I am. And the turkey neck, the jaws, the loose skin, this is a part of who I am. And it is a part of my journey. It is a reflection of the journey that I have led in the path that I have had to travel to get where I am today. And I am thankful for every day that I have. And I'm thankful for my path and my journey because it has helped me be who I am today. What about you? What are your limits? Like, are you in the zone of no matter what it takes, I want to look as young as I can and whatever I can afford to pay for, I'm going to do? Or do you have limits and boundaries of like how far you are willing to go? Like, do you want to try every gadget that you can afford? Like, I believe in red light therapy. I think that that is effective. I think tretinoin is definitely effective. I think peptides are a temporary fix that definitely help your face look better. I definitely believe in SPF and sunscreen and hats and those kind of things. I believe in lifting weights and keeping our muscles firm. And I believe in the diet that we eat is part of our health and keeping our body strong. It's all about doing things that are going to enhance our life and give us better quality and allow us to be here longer so that we can enjoy our lives more. To me, what about you? I'm really wanting to know what you think. And I can't say that I won't change my mind and that I won't go more aggressive. Maybe if I win the lottery, I'll decide I want everything made over. There are definitely things that I wouldn't mind changing my turkey neck being one of them, but it is who I am. And I like me for the most part. I want to hear from you in the comments. And with this new me and the year that I've had and the experiences that I've faced and the gratitude that I feel about life, I am definitely pivoting my channel a little bit. We are still going to cover beauty. We're still going to cover skincare, but we're also covering lifestyle like we always did. This channel is going to be about everything that makes our lives better after we reach a certain age, whether that's minimalizing our life, whether that's decluttering, whether that's finding shortcuts to cleaning so that we have more time to have fun and do the things that we love. And I'm looking for a new channel name. 
So I would like to create a contest where we all vote on a new channel name for my channel. And the winner is going to receive a $100 gift certificate of their choice. And we're going to leave the contest open for one month. So let's say the contest is going to end a little over a month. The contest is going to end May 31st or June 1st. We'll announce the new name and the winner of the contest, the new channel name. What say you? What are your limits on beauty and enhancing your looks? How important are the outer shell compared to the inner self? And what name would you give a channel who wants to be about making lives better for women and helping them realize that anything that you want to do to feel better about yourself is A-OK -okay, and anything that makes life better is A-OK. -okay, and that there are things that we can do to make the second half the best half. Until next time, go out and live like Mel.